Well, uh, he's not in, is he, Ina? No, but we know where he'll be. We'll go round and see him there. Oh, Ina, we can't do that. We can't walk out without having a drink when we've only just come in. Hello? Remember me? Hello? You got my message. I wanted to see you. Yeah, I was going to get in touch this afternoon. So bad. It's about the car, right? That's right. Yeah, well, I'll be back in the garage about uh, two o'clock, so if you put you down then, all right? Not all right, no. <laughs> Look, I've just had a hard morning's work. I'm cold and I'm starving, so if you don't mind... Eleven hundred pounds I paid you for that car. Eleven hundred pounds? You know how long it takes a bloke like me to save eleven hundred pounds? Yes, well, if you want the best things in life, you've got to be prepared to oh, pay for them, haven't it you? It wasn't the best, was it? Anything but. Let's Mrs Walker, quick. Four hundred pounds, they told me that was worth. Four hundred for eleven hundred. Who said? I took it to this garage, right? Just for a service, right? They rang me, asked me to come in. So how much did you pay for this load of old coppers, they said? They had a good laugh when I told them. Yes, well, we'll talk about it down the garage, all right? I'm telling you what they told me. They said it must have been wrapped around a tree or something at some time. An insurance write-off, only somebody had put all the bits and pieces together again. Yeah, well, it's their word against mine, so what? They broke it down for me. Wouldn't read what they said. No, thanks. But I've got the car outside. Look at the Come garage, on. all right? Not here now. Get off my back. Just get out of my way. Eleven hundred pounds! I'm drained. <laughs> 